Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the text of the bipartisan bill on the border likely will be released before the end of the weekend. He also called the Senate back into session on Monday, which likely sets up the first votes on that bill for Wednesday. This comes as many Republicans have been publicly trashing the bill, despite, of course, not having read any of its text because it's not available yet. Yeah. Here is Republican Congressman Troy Nails of Texas. Yeah. Why would we do anything right now to help her with that 33 percent? Do you believe if Joe Biden's approval rating was at 53 percent, we would even be talking about the border? We wouldn't be talking about the southern border. But he has to do something because he's hemorrhaging. He's bleeding. So what he's going to try to do is try to come up with some border security plan, bipartisan through the Senate, that is nothing but hogwash. Uh, the height of stupidity is having a strong opinion on something you know nothing about. So I don't have a strong opinion on the bill because I haven't seen it. Nobody has. I'm extremely disappointed in the very strange maneuvering by many on the right to, to, to torpedo uh, a potential border reform bill. That's, that's what we all ran on doing. Maybe they think that securing the border would help Biden politically, which of course it would, but I want to secure the border. That's what I told my voters I would do. So there are some who believe that and they are making it seem like the rest of us um, are, are against the bill. But that's just not true because we haven't even seen it. We haven't even seen the deal. So everybody needs to just take a step back and let the text come out. This, this wasn't Biden's bill that, no. that Troy Nails uh, should know that Biden didn't write this. It was like one of the most conservative Republicans in the Senate, the Oklahoma senator, Langford. James Langsford. Yeah. James yeah, Lankford. James, James yes. Lankford. Yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, I know, they're, they, I don't think they realize it, but they're unintentionally smearing James Lankford. This is his bill right. with Chris Murphy. They got together. The text isn't available. They don't actually know what's in it. Right. And usually, back in your day in Congress, Joe, the stuff they say out loud, which is, we can't <laughs> introduce legislation that would help the American people and solve the crisis at the border, or at least make it better, because we don't want this guy to win was usually subtext, maybe whispered in right. rooms, but you don't just come out and announce it's why you're not supporting right. it. Right. It would be whispered in rooms, but people would be grousing, going, oh, what are we going to do, help Bill Clinton? And then right. you know what? A bill would go on the floor and would vote for it because it was good for America. And, yeah, maybe it helped Bill Clinton. It also helped America. Like, you know, crazy things happen. I mean, you, you again, I've said it before, but you have Republicans that hated Clinton, Clinton who hated us. But everybody said, OK, well, here, here's our good bill. Veto it. Here's this. And, you you know, balance the budget, Mike, four years in a row at welfare reform that worked really well. You, 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 you know, balance the budget four years in a row for the first time in 100 years. Uh, the economy grew. A lot of great things happened. And guess what? Yeah, Bill Clinton got it, got credit for it. Republicans in the House got credit for it. And America was better for it. You're talking about literally a different era, even though no. it was maybe five years ago, six years ago, ten years ago, a completely different era. I mean, you listen to people like Troy Nails and others in the Republican House especially, and you wonder, what do they tell their voters when they run for office? I want to help you. I'm looking toward the future. I want to see what we can do to make your life easier. Or do they articulate what they're doing now? We're going to go to Washington to obstruct anything that might improve this nation. We, to improve right. your lives, to improve the border, whatever it is. Why? Because the other guy might win. And by the way, Dan Crenshaw, that's the guy who, when he goes home, he can say, hey, I don't care if it helps Biden. I promised you I was going to do this. That's it. I'm going to do it. And that's, you know, that's the right thing to do. That's what gets people at the, the Reagan Lincoln dinner standing on their feet going, hell yeah. He's fighting for us, not the, I mean, that's that's a stupidity. God, the, the ongoing stupidity of the House Republicans on every front. And you can add Ukraine to the list. They are literally willing to let Putin take over Ukraine. They just don't care. They've dug in. They've decided they're not going to support Ukraine. They're not going to support a safer border. It's bad for Donald Trump. They're against it. That's their guiding principle. It's just true. But but how crazy! What at least what's good for America 
is bad for Donald Trump. Think mm. about this. Yeah. Republicans have come to the conclusion, and Donald Trump has come to the conclusion and saying, I want the stock market to crash. I want there to be a Great Depression. I want Joe Biden to be Herbert Hoover. I want the border to remain open. I want fentanyl to be flooding across the border for the next eight months so I can run against it. I want illegal immigrants flooding in, uh, continuing to flood in over the next eight months so I can run against it. Republicans now have put themselves in a position where what's good for America is bad for Donald Trump. And that's all you need to know about that campaign and this Republican Party. Well, every American is affected by a border out of control the way it is right now. And Senator James Lankford tried to put forward a serious policy proposal. We just played on repeat the New York City cops getting beaten yeah. by men who should not have been in the country. And so are Republicans saying, I'm okay with that. More cops can get beaten. I would rather not give Joe Biden a victory.